Last night on my orders, America's armed forces began strikes against ISIL targets in Syria. U.S. counterterrorism officials asking why are ISIS fighters driving so many similar trucks and where are they getting them from? How do we know that the uh, arms that uh, are going to uh, the Syrian rebels are not going to get into the hands of ISIS? Because if we had people who uh, could were there to funnel it to the right people, and I know these people, and I know who they are, and I know how to do it, and so do other people. You are basically saying that even in government at the time, you knew those groups were around, you saw this analysis, sure. and you were arguing against it, but who wasn't listening? I think the, I think the administration. In an interview with the New Yorker magazine, it compares groups linked to Al-Qaeda to an amateur basketball team. Intelligence officials in Pakistan say a local commander from the terrorist network Islamic State has admitted receiving funds transferred via the U.S. He made the confession while being interrogated. Today we learned that the same group may now be in possession of a deadly cache of American-made firepower, Stinger missiles. I think it was a willful decision. A willful decision to go support an insurgency that had Salafists, Al Qaeda, well, and a Muslim willful decision to do what they're doing. Which, which you have to really, you have to really ask the president, what is it that he actually is doing? As I've said before, this aspect of our strategy was moving too slowly, but the fall of Ramadi has galvanized the Iraqi government. So, with the additional steps I ordered last month, we're speeding up training of. ISIL forces, including volunteers from Sunni tribes in Anbar province. Now, U.S. military aircraft have dropped ammunition in areas held by ISIL terror group in Iraq. Now, according to volunteer forces who are fighting the terrorists, American helicopters dropped boxes of weapons in Yathrib and Balad districts in the Salahuddin province. We now hear that President Obama will ask Congress for 5.3 billion dollars to equip and train Iraqi soldiers and quote-unquote moderate Syrian rebels to fight the Islamic State militants. Reports say the U.S. military has airdropped weapons for, for the ISIL on several occasions. Last month, I ordered our military to take targeted action against ISIL to stop its advances. Do you know that he made the Air Force drop leaflets telling the ISIS truck drivers to get out that bombs were going to fall? Did you know that? Did it, does anyone know that he did that? This is going to make people think twice about this guy. This is not as clear as it may be of he's just a pacifist or a liberal. There's something more here, Donald. And it's been more than a year now. ISIS's capabilities seem to be expanding. Um, it, were you aware that they had the capability of pulling off the kind of attack that they did in Paris? Uh, are you concerned and do you think they have that same capability to strike in the United States? The unclassified reports have estimated that in just the first 12 months of renewed ISIS operations in uh, Syria and Iraq, they've recruited more than 22,000 foreign fighters. At least 4,000 are Westerners. So those are Americans, Brits, French citizens, German citizens. It was very disturbing to pull this from the UM website in September that says of the 381,412 arrivals that came across the Mediterranean Sea this, just this year up to September that 15% were children, 13% were women, and 72% were men. Uh, such a backlash against Syrian refugees coming to the United States after the word uh, that some of these attackers may have passed through Syria. 31 governors now say they don't want them living in their states. Many presidential candidates calling for a ban or religious test. Congress moving for a moratorium on new refugees. They point out there is an extensive vetting process that includes the intelligence community, the departments of state and homeland security. In fact, George, the concerns in Syria is that we don't have the systems in place on the ground to collect the information to vet. That would be the concern. Yes, I think that's the challenge we're all talking about, is that we can only query against that which we have collected. You can't account for what you don't know, and that goes to the intelligence deficit that I think is uh, uh, embedded in your question. But apparently they're scared of widows and orphans coming into the United States of America <coughs> as part of our tradition of compassion. It's a terror threat unlike any Europe or the U.S. has seen before. It's the ultimate stealth weapon for ISIS. A female suicide bomber is like a stealth precision weapon. A stealth precision weapon, Brian, and this is a major change in strategy. Thanks to our military and counterterrorism professionals, America is safer. We may have somebody who comes to us and is simply not on our radar for any discernible reason 
And there may also be the possibility that somebody decides to do something bad after they've been admitted through the process. We do not close our hearts to these victims of such violence uh, and somehow start equating the West the issue of refugees with the issue of terror. Caused it. We're reaching out to various countries that have been fighting ISIS uh, in Syria and Iraq, uh, urging followers to attack in their home country. Uh, the FBI is still gathering the facts about what happened in San Bernardino, but here's what we know. The victims were brutally murdered and injured by one of their co-workers and his wife. So far, we have no evidence that the killers were directed by a terrorist organization overseas or that they were part of a broader conspiracy here at home. Because we have the clearest indication yet that that shooting rampaged two days ago in San Bernardino, California, was an act of terror inspired by ISIS. New details about the couple involved in that deadly San Bernardino mass shooting, including a statement of support for ISIS by the female shooter, Tashfeen Malik. But apparently they're scared of widows and orphans. ISIS has been a main concern of the U.S. through just this sort of radicalization. Not directed plots, but people who follow ISIS propaganda through their relentless uh, outpouring of propaganda around the world every day. In June 2015, Iraqi officials reported that as many as 500 children were kidnapped by ISIS to serve as suicide bombers and child soldiers. Anybody who had a chance to see those kids? Uh... Hopefully you understood the degree to which they're just like our kids. New Islamic State video shows boy soldier execute two alleged Russian spies. Long way from when you described them as a JV team. Well, was, keep, that, uh, well, keep, was that bad intelligence well, no, or no, your no, no, misjudgment? No. Keep, keep, keep in mind, uh, I wasn't specifically referring to ISIL. As I've said before, this aspect of our strategy was moving too slowly, but the fall of Ramadi has galvanized the Iraqi government. So with the additional steps I ordered last month, we're speeding up training of ISIL forces, including volunteers from Sunni tribes in Anbar province.